the vibe among the linebackers this offseason? Like, I, I, it has to be so difficult to know who you're kind of replacing, Zion and Harris. Like, how do you guys go about having reasonable expectations and you know, kind of moving forward as a group? Yeah, um, like you said, Zaire, Parrish, JT, I feel like those guys really, you know, laid a foundation for us as a linebacking group. Zaire, everybody knows about his leadership and what type of guy he is. And he kind of made it his mission to take us all under his wing and, you know, set the standard in the linebacking group. So, I mean, we know we got big shoes to fill this year, but I feel like we all know the expectations. And, I mean, none of that stuff has dropped down at all with uh, those guys leaving. We're all trying to compete at, you know, the same level they compete at the previous years. And, you know, try to do things like they did, you know, get into the NFL and stuff like that. So the standard hasn't gone down at all. Yep. What's it like for you to kind of come into a, you're coming into a starting role as a linebacker position, which is new for you, but you're also going to be a senior. I mean, what's kind of like the vibe there? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a little bit different than uh, playing safety. But, I mean, I played, you know, strong safety. And, I mean, rolling down as an outside linebacker, it's similar, you know, working into the box and, you know, playing things like that. Uh, it's going to be newer, you know, for me getting inside the box a little bit more. But, I mean, I'm just taking it upon myself to really get in the film room, try to learn as much as I can. Like I said, Zaire did a great job. Paris, those guys helping me along as my first year in the linebacking group last year. And uh, I'm just excited for the challenge and, you know, excited for the future. Dylan, what are some of the expectations for yourself uh, going into fall camp now that you are, you know, expected to be a star? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mainly I just want to go out there and be a leader for the defense every day. Uh, I mean, you know, like people love to talk about, you know, we're young at linebacker group, um, you know, the defense, you know, how are we going to be this year? I just want to, you know, go out there every day with a lot of enthusiasm, help push the other guys, do my job as well as, you know, help other guys, you know, understand their assignments and get us to the level we need to be. Other questions for Kyle? Derek? How much does it help that, that some of the front four, a lot of those guys have a lot, a lot of games, they have a lot of experience, how much does it help to have a veteran group up front to sort of solidify that, that front seven? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a huge part of, you know, being a linebacker. If you got those front four that can really dominate up there, I mean, I mean people are going to have to double team Slate and Bear. Our defensive ends do a great job. Um, just those guys being able to occupy gaps, it makes it so much easier on us to, you know, really only have one fit. You know, a lot of times, Zaire and Paris were so good at, you know, being able to take up two gaps, but now, I mean, that stuff doesn't even have to happen. Those guys can take up a gap, you know, occupy an extra blocker, so it makes us easier as a linebacker group to fill those gaps. So those guys will do a great job for us this year. Yep, What's the transition been like into the uh, spread 4 2 5 look uh, from the 4-2? Yeah, um, we honestly run a lot of 4 2 5 over the years. I mean, it's just really just a personnel thing. So moving Cordy down, uh, you know, JT and Cordy, they look like, you know, a very different type of player, but the assignments aren't changing much. It's just matchups, you know, depending on what type of teams we play, you know, maybe they have a quicker guy in the slot and we need a smaller guy to cover that. That's really the, where we come to the four, two, five rather than a four, three. So just personnel and matchups, stuff like that. With, with that kind of said, are you anticipating maybe playing some Sam? You guys go bigger? Yeah, I mean, like I said, with the personnel and the matchups, I mean, Cordy can play all over the field. That guy can play corner if we need him to, safety, nickel. So, I mean, depending on the matchups and what we're doing that week, we'll, you know, the coaches will come up with the best plan for us and how we need to match up against the team. Anything else for Kyle? There you yeah, go. I asked you this kind of before, too, but being a senior, fall camp starting on tomorrow, kind of, what's the excited little for you? What's the uh, anticipation heading to that? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely excited. Uh, the last go around, you know, got to make it count, but just trying to go in with a lot of enthusiasm. I mean, fall camp's a tough time for, you know, college football players. It's a, Coach Baby doesn't like us calling it a grind. He likes us calling it a find, but, uh, you know, we're just working every day and uh, uh, I'm just excited. Hopefully I can go in with great enthusiasm, great leadership every day and, you know, help take this team to a bowl game, you know, win the championship. Final question? All right. Thanks, Tom. Yes, sir. Okay.